Dia kata nanti kalau saya nak minta paspor tu kita nak nak balik kan dia nak backlist. Salah kan sekarang kalau dia memang tak buat bagi saya balik. Yeah. Saya tak kisah yang dah dia tolak. Ulan nak dia bagi pasport Ulan, Ulan terus balik aja. It's not legal here. The passport act here is very very clear. You cannot keep the passport of another person. Section 10 says very clearly. But then it's a industrial practice here that uh, worker that employers keep the passport of the workers and it's very widespread. And that is also, of course, the myth that um, migrant workers will run away if they have the passport and all that. But I think what they forget is migrant workers will run away, no matter if, even if they don't have the passport. It's the labour situation that you put them in, uh, or the environment that keep them in that what's make them run away, not holding their passports. Min parora ta pas ne tha bani subida AC baku tha sabey bani ra padhai bani tera thi na desto AC baku the ke gan ho le the pas ne tha baki gan. Ita koi ni aam dista ne pas ne ka pas hi the a dui jana a gadi ne a pas hi dui mein. But in general, we can say that. By the time the, the the worker arrives here, he or she uh, would have paid maybe five to ten thousand ringgit, you know, which is a huge amount of money, uh, which none of them have as savings. So they would have raised it by borrowing, uh, by using whatever property they have as collateral, or by getting from money lenders at pretty high rates of interest. Something goes up to almost twenty percent interest rate. तरबार If you analyze the labor supply chain from country of origin to destination and when you return, there's uh, exploitation at every level. So everyone wants to make uh, a quick buck out of the migrant worker. So it's not just during work; it's after work, it's before work, it's the journey coming to the country, it's the journey returning home. And the and the culprit here are the labor brokers. I think we should get rid of them completely. They are uh, uh, what do you call it? Slave slave traders. That's what they are. Slave traders. Well, here you are detained. Uh, you are detained, and then you are. There is also whipping as well. Uh, then they are whipped, and then they also deported. So the deportation again falls or squarely on the on the worker. Either the family has to pay, or the embassy has to pay, or the community has to pay for their deportation. I think from the Nepali uh, migrant workers, uh, one of the top uh, reasons for that is uh, suicide. So, uh, if you look at the working conditions um, and the uh, social conditions faced by migrants, uh, depression 
uh, is something that that wouldn't be surprising if they face and if there's no uh, mechanism for redress to face this depression or the challenges in Malaysia it's either you run away or you commit suicide but what you were saying before it's all right for for the factories or agencies to keep the passports uh, maybe they have maybe the worker that they would like to ask the, the employer to keep for the passport for their safety or whatever which you know we don't have the exact answer on this but uh, you know we don't deny that we heard before saying that you know they are some agent and the employer I mean mostly the employer will keep their passport mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and do you recognize that this is a problem if they cannot get that it can be a problem it can be a problem it can be not Okay, when, when is it not a problem if, if they actually want their passports? Uh, possible, you know, when they need the passport, like when they want to go out or whatever, they can always request from the employer saying that, you know, they, they want to hold back the passport for safety when they're going out. I mm. think this is no problem. Okay, but if it's like, if it's against the workers' will, if they cannot get their passport if they want to? They cannot get the passport. What is the reason that they cannot get the passport? The employer says we are not giving We don't know the reason. We don't know the reason. That's why, you know, we cannot answer you exactly what is the reason. No, but if... But do you think there could be any good reason? Can be a good reason and can be not. We, we need to have an open and accountable process and uh, there must be an industry-wide regulation both internal and external as well in order to ensure that such slavery practices does not occur in the production of any one good and while the systems might be there in place but the efficacy of the such systems the um, uh, the, ramif the the effectiveness of such systems uh, sometimes is uh, quite jarring. So even at international buyers, you need to go down the your supply chain. Uh, it's not enough that you just go in the first level, the second level. There are people down uh, below the s supply chain that are doing more violations than the ones who are you are dealing with in the first tier.